This is an open letter to the Supreme Leader of Iran. I'm an older American woman, and I never paid much attention to your country until this year's election. I was intrigued at the amount of people that were uh, having rallies in the streets and the amount of voter turnout, which was awesome. I have never seen that before. Saddam Hussein said he had 99%, but you know he was lying. This was real. And I thought there was actually a chance to have a real Islamic democracy. You know how important that would be? You know what a great step that would be for the Islamic religion? It would be so wonderful to have a democracy, the same as democracies in other countries that have other religions. You know? It would be a step forward in the world politics. Okay, so you screwed up the election. Because you're, of your stubbornness, your stubbornness, which is a sin you know, uh, Mr. Ahmadinejad supposedly is the president. You've made yourself a laughing stock of the world. Nobody will believe anything that comes out of Iran anymore. He thinks he's just the greatest thing that God ever gave to the world. And let me tell you something, honey. He has delusions of grandeur. He's a mess. His brain is warped. Anybody that executes their own children, anybody that executes kids under 18 years old, I wasn't even accountable for myself until I was 21. That was when I became a Christian. That was when I accepted a savior and when I started thinking on my own instead of listening to everything that everybody told me. Back to your country. Because of your threats during the prayers, you created the violence, you are responsible for it. So if Ahmadinejad is right and the prophet is coming back in two years, honey, you're doomed. You're going to roast in hell forever. You're going to have all the bad things that you ordered done to any person. You are going to have to experience them. Yep. And you'll be sorry. And there won't be any way to change it because you haven't repented. And that's what God wants. People to live in love. People to treat His creation with the honor those people that you executed, God created those people, not for you to execute, but to glorify himself. So they could come to this world and do beautiful things for this world. And you've totally destroyed it. And you are responsible. I'm glad I'm not you. Ah. Uh, the rulers of the UN, the rulers of the world, walk out on Ahmadinejad. Walk out! Because he acts like an ass. He talks like an ass. He's got to be an ass. I pray for the Iranian people. I pray that you'll get overthrown. No, I really don't. I pray that you could see the evil that you've done and you could repent of it and you could have a real democracy in your country a real Islamic democracy it would be great but you can't do it the way you've been doing it too many people have suffered and your country will not survive because you know what the pendulum swings both ways yeah and you're going to go right down in history with Christopher Columbus and the Crusaders and all the other stupid people that tried to hasten the Lord's coming. As you stand now, I pray you roast in hell and I pray that God forgives me for thinking that. But I can't, in all honesty, think anything else. And what God wants more than anything is honesty and a humble heart, and you have neither.